Hi guys, James at Goddard Radio Moscow Beer and Metal Reviews again for you today with another beer review. As has been the norm for the last few videos, we're going to continue on again with this short series of Kiwi craft beer reviews that I've been doing for you. And for this one, we are going to go down to the capital city of New Zealand and try a beer from Black Dog Brewing Company. So this is their Bite Hopped Pilsner. And as you'll know if you've watched my channel for a little while, the sort of craft take on uh, lager beers and Pilsner beers is one that I really enjoy. And the most recent one that I've actually reviewed in this style, if I remember correctly, was the Love Tap beer from Moondog Brewery. And that was beautiful and the Kiwis actually regard this brewery quite highly so I'm very hopeful that this one kind of lives up to that accolade as well and my, one of my favourite beers at home is the Harvest in Shihali, which is a kind of hopped up lager beer and it's really beautiful so I'm quite interested to review this one because it is one of the styles that I really like. So as is usual with my reviews then I'll take you through a very short history of the brewery. It is very short for this guy just because there's there's very little information available from these guys um, but if you do want to go straight to the tasting just fast forward into the video a few minutes and you will get right there as always the brewery websites in the description below along with a link to my other reviews that hopefully I can add from these guys in the very near future so anyway as I mentioned to you brewed a uh, black dog brewery are from Wellington in New Zealand which is apparently the craft beer capital of the country as well as being the actual home of Parliament in New Zealand. So the brewery was founded in 2011 and they have a brew bar in the Wellington Central Business District where you can actually go and try all of their own beers and you can take home your own growler as well, you know, one of these big sort of German style dark brown glass flasks and, you know, I actually think that's really cool that you can do that in one of these countries. Apparently New Zealand had one of the most regulated alcohol markets in the world at some point but now they're, you know, they're pretty beasting at, uh, at craft beer. They're, they're craft beer here as I've mentioned in numerous videos that I've done of these. Uh, New Zealand craft beers is it's, it's really excellent so if you're a big fan of it get down here and check it out but they also have a really good food range as well and as I said you can see the menu on the website but unfortunately that is all the information I actually have on this brewery I usually like to talk a little bit about the owners inspirations for becoming brewers and their backgrounds and things but I, I just couldn't find it by searching it so hopefully if I send these guys this review they will give me a little bit more information and then I can review another beer from them for you at some point in the near future so anyway to list the other beers that you can get from these guys in their core range you have the, the Kiwi Unleashed American Pale Ale, you have the Chomp New Zealand Pale Ale, uh, the Bite Hopped Pilsner which is this guy here, Golden Lab Golden Ale, Pango Curry which is an American style stout and you also have White Fang Wheat Ale and they also have a number of other beers that are listed on the website too and I, I guess these are probably the ones that they just brew exclusively for tap in the brewery and so it probably will only be the ones that you can go into the brewery and just drink off the tap there so as I said go and check them out they've got a nice food menu and probably a very good selection of beer as well so anyway that's your kind of short lowdown on the Black Dog Brewing Company Company. so we'll get on to the tasting of this beer itself I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little quick look at the artwork on this one it's quite nicely presented quite simply done you can see the dog there and if you look closely at it you can see that his front right leg is just a beer bottle upside down almost like a peg leg dog actually and he's also got a bolt of lightning coming out of his arse which is quite funny and you can see it says Blair Street Wellington hopped a uh, bite hopped pilsner it does tell you a little bit on the back it says, uh, Bite is a hoppy pilsner brewed kiwi style. Our brewers have crafted this unique pilsner to showcase Motoika and Nelson Sovine hops. So those are your two hops in this beer. So fill your glass with a taste of New Zealand, brewed to test your metal and give you more bite. Black Dog Brewery was created in the heart of Wellington, the craft beer capital of New Zealand. We're doing something a little special and a little different and having some fun along the way and it's working, working well, woof. Brewed in New Zealand for Black Dog Brewery, Blair Street, Wellington. And this guy, I did have the alcohol content. It's a 5.5% hoppy pilsner beer, as you would have guessed. The bottle cap on this guy is plain too. So without further ado, we'll get on with the tasting of this guy. And I'm really looking forward to this one. So here we go. So I can get this to grip. You can see a little bit of smoke on the opening there and a big bubble coming out. This is one I've been looking forward to actually. I got all of these beers that I've been reviewing for you from Glengarry Wines and Spirits on Dominion Road in Auckland and the girl in there was very very helpful and helped me pick out all of these beers and she said this was her particular favourite from Black Dog Brewing Company so 
I'm sure it will be a good one because the other ones that she pushed me towards are really nice beers. So anyway, as you can see, it's poured a nice kind of slightly hazy kind of goldeny amber colour. There's about a half finger of a frothy white head. There are a few kind of bumps to it as well, so it does have some bigger bubbles. Uh, there is quite a little bit of uh, small bubble carbonation going up towards the bottom of the head, but you do have some big bubbles just sticking to the side of the glass as well. But it looks like a really nice kind of, um, almost looks a bit more like a gold nail actually. But if you give it a smell, it actually does smell like a, a typical lager beer, but I'm told the taste of it is, is very, very impressive. But yeah, you're getting that sort of kind of typical sweet corny flavour that you, or sweet corny aroma that you would expect of a lager beer. But it's got a little bit of nice kind of floral and grassy aroma to it as well. And you can pick up just a kind of light dashing of kind of tropical fruits. Maybe a little bit of passion fruit, which I believe is a little one of the traits of the, the Nelson Sauvignon and Matoika hop. I apologise if my pronunciation of these kind of Maori words in, in New Zealand isn't actually quite right. I've struggled with that with a few of these reviews, some of the village names and stuff. But I hope you'll forgive me for that. But yeah, in terms of the aroma, you've got a kind of big sort of malty sweetness coming out of this one. It's a sort of caramel or biscuity maltiness, but it does have that sort of um, kind of bigger bready feel to it as well. But if you shake it up, you're getting a little bit of kind of, just a little teeny bit of passion fruit coming out of there. But there is a good bit of lemon citrus and you do pick that up particularly as you kind of take it around. But there's a nice floral and grassy element to it as well. And you know, the tropical fruits are something that you expect of the, the um, Matoika and Nelson Sauvignon hops. But just take a little bit of time if you get this beer and just give it a smell. As I always say, it's actually, it's one of these beers where it's a more subtle aroma. So just spend a little bit of time and try and pick out all the different components of it. But we'll get on with the tasting of this guy and see how we get on. So this is the Bite Hopped Pilsner from the Black Dog Brewing Company in New Zealand. Cheers. So yeah, it's a big, big hoppy beer. When you actually smell it, it tastes, it, it smells as if it's going to be a lot more malty than it than it actually is. It definitely is. You can see why they call it a hopped pilsner. It's got a huge hoppy kick to it. A big bitter bite just as you take this guy in. But yeah, you've got a really nice kind of um, grassy and aromatic hop flavour that comes out of this beer right at the start. Yeah, it has this huge grassy and aromatic character. It's it's not even resinous. You you with the pine resin, you just get this really oily feel around the edge of the tongue. But this guy is a straight up kind of grassy and aromatic bite with this one, and it's just it's such a dry beer. This guy, but it's really nice in that regard. Yeah, it's a, it's a big big citrusy beer this one. I was saying there was passion fruit in the aroma but you really don't pick that up very much in the taste. It's a huge aromatic -y, grassy beer this one. It's th This is one of the driest beers I've actually come across but it works really well. If you like a beer that has a, a big big hoppy kick you know this is one that really kind of would do it for you. It almost it reminds me of some of the golden ales back home. I would be tempted to describe this beer. If I did a blind tasting on it, I'd be like, no, this is a golden ale rather than a, a Pilsner beer because the malt base is actually quite subdued in this because of how hoppy it is. Although in fairness, there is just a little bit of a kind of pale malt base on this guy. Yeah, there is a little bit of kind of biscuity sweetness that just lingers in the middle of the tongue, but overall it is a very very light kind of dashing of a a pale malt base. But you know, as you would expect when they're saying it's a hot pilsner beer, it really does kind of fit that accolade. It's it's a huge hoppy hoppy beer. As you let the flavour progress of this one, you're getting that dry hoppy character just around the edge of the tongue. You're getting that pale malt blanket just right over the middle and just a little bit of kind of biscuity or very slightly caramel sweetness. But around the edge you're getting that kind of 
big aromatic bite it just comes into the tongue a little bit that actually and it's mainly the kind of less dry grassy character that sits around the edge of the tongue there is a little bit of citric sweetness in there but overall i'd say the most prominent component of the flavor in this guy is definitely that big aromatic -y, bitey hop But you do feel as you let this kind of settle on the tongue, you get this little oily feel that kind of builds up a little bit and you do get just a little teeny hint of tropical fruit and I'd say it's more of a passion fruit than that kind of sour grapefruit that you can sometimes get from the, the Nelson Sauvine in my opinion gives you that little bit more of a, a sweeter passion fruit rather than the more sourish um, grapefruit and you do feel that just building, you get this little oil bubble that kind of builds towards the edges of the tongue and it, it has that that nice little just juicy character to it but it's it's absolutely you know it's beautifully done and but it's a big this guy as i said is a big big aromatic -y kick beer and i would describe this more of a gold nail rather than a pilsner beer just because of how hoppy it is but anyway in terms of the mouth feel of this guy i'd say it's definitely light bodied it's very well carbonated and that actually does kind of aid the sort of prominence of the the aromatic character of the hops in this guy and it does have a really nice crisp character but you really have to be aware of the bitter and dry character in this one this is probably one of the most kind of bitter sort of bitter and dry gold nails that i've ever had and i do like beers like that so um i would say if you are into this style this is one you definitely want to go for but if you do prefer something that's a little bit juicier i guess then you're maybe better to look at what else they have in the range and maybe build towards this one there's nothing you know, I'm not saying it's a bad beer, but I would say you do have to kind of tune your mouth or you tune your palate a little bit towards this one because it is, you know, it is so bitter. Really, out of the 370 odd beers that I've reviewed for you, this is one of two that I can put my finger on and say this is, you know, one of the most bitter ones I've reviewed. But it's very, very nice. So overall, I would say it's a really, really good kind of hoppy Pilsner beer. Um, if you've never really tried this particular style before, I would recommend that you build up to it so that you can appreciate it properly. The flavours in it are well balanced and if you like a kind of big aromatic -y, grassy sort of citrusy hot pilsner beer then you know this is one you would really want to go for i would guess in the tap version as well the malt the sort of bready malt and the little bit of biscuity and caramel element that you would normally expect is probably a little bit more prominent but if you want something that's maybe a sort of build up to this i would actually recommend as i was saying the moon dog love tap from australia and then give this a try because this guy is just a little bit of a, a kind of bitter step up from that but it's a really nice beer and if you're into the sort of very bitter ones it is definitely something you want to give a go of so anyway i hope you've enjoyed my review from black dog brewing company i've really quite enjoyed this one it's a style that i really enjoy as i say build yourself towards it a little bit let me know in the comment section your own thoughts on this beer and the other beers that these guys do at the brewery i hope you've enjoyed this review and please like subscribe share all the usual youtube stuff and i hope you're enjoying this series of kiwi beer reviews and there will be more to come cheers